Cher vice-président Shevkovic, chère madame la rectrice, chers professeurs et membres du personnel, cher bourgmestre, chers alumni, chers invités et chers soaristas. Il y a plus d'un an, nous avons reçu la magnifique nouvelle que nous passerions cette année au Collège d'Europe. Même si les raisons pour lesquelles nous voulions venir à Bruges nous sont propres à chacun et chacune, nous avons néanmoins, toutes et tous, quelque chose en commun. Cette chose que nous partageons, c'est qu'avant de prendre cette décision, nous sommes tous passés par le processus de peser le pour et le contre, d'envisager les étapes qui découleraient de ce choix et d'espérer que cette année au collège nous permettait de grandir en tant que personne. Even if you have never thought about it, you go through this cycle of considering, deciding, and wishing countless times throughout your life. The same can be said of a game of chess, where the careful thought process takes time before each and every move. A game of chess can be seen as a highly simplified version of our everyday life. We know that every move we make, whether in life or in a game, opens up new paths for the future. Only you know what your next move will be. You play for the present, trying to make the best possible configurations of moves that you anticipate for the future, well knowing that it is impossible to predict the situation even two moves in advance. The challenges you face are part of the process, and you learn from them. But most importantly, you try to enjoy the game while playing it. When we reflect on the past year, it is easy to think of the challenges that marked it, the COVID crisis. Yet, we have chosen to not let that define our year, because we are more than the promotion that spent time in quarantine and had to follow classes online. We have shown that we are creative in the way that we dealt with the obstacles we faced. Never before have so many high-profile speakers attended the numerous online conferences organized by students. Tea parties, cozy raclette evenings, and drawing nights became a new way of networking. The poll students proved that debating online and playing a whole simulation, on, on, a whole simulation game online is possible. The dry eyes, the neck pain, and the internet connection problems were something we had to deal with, and we did successfully. Whether you think back at one of the brilliant papers you wrote, or at the time that you won the Benelux quiz, or the Italian quiz, or the Spanish quiz, or many of the other quizzes, we can all be proud of what we have achieved this year. One year long, we went through all the highs and lows together, and that creates a unique bond. A bond that will always connect us, regardless of the paths that we will take in the future. I'm curious to follow all the paths you guys will take. So LinkedIn has suddenly become much more interesting. But above all, I'm proud to be here with all of you today. And I will sign my future Sorry for Spam emails with the same pride as Manon van der Walle, member of the Mario Soares promotion. However, I promise that I will not try to sell you my old washing machine. <laughs> Thank you. I would also like to take a short minute to thank Alexandru, my co-rep. Alexandru, multomesque for everything. I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think in, in hindsight, you should, have, you should have been last. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Manon, for the uh, opening game. Um, to be honest, I must admit I've never been a very good uh, chess player, very talented one, but I don't feel bad about this. Uh, however, I do feel bad that the guy coming to represent uh, IRD uh, comes with a tan and spends more time at the beach than in the college library, so I'm sorry if uh, the IRD has a reputation, and it's partly because of me. <laughs> but seriously, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I grew up in a Catholic school back in Egypt, a Jesuit, to be precise, and all boys, to state the obvious. 
And um, for me, the college was a real social experiment, bringing all these people from different cultures and different backgrounds from across Europe and even beyond. And uh, thank you for these ENP scholarships, by the way. We would like more of these. <laughs> Um, but don't worry, director, I promise I won't get political. Watching all these people, watching us uh, interact uh, on a daily basis was like a reality show with all the drama, so much drama, but not of the fame. Except maybe for Flemish newspapers who love us, of course, obviously, but love isn't always kind and isn't always fair. So... The <laughs> The college is and will always be a place of tolerance and acceptance, and it's our duty to hold on to these values in Europe and even beyond. Of course, we had our differences, and I'm happy that we did. If anything, it made us uh, appreciative of our qualities, it made us aware of our flaws, it made us face our demons and uh, overcome our own challenges. At the end, we discovered ourselves under a new light, and I think there's no better way to grow and to be truly who we are. So I ask you today, not only to reflect, reflect on Europe, but also reflect on how the college has changed you, hopefully for the better. Those of you who know me, they know that I'm not a, not a big sentimental in general, but I think along the way we made true friendships, friendships that I hope will last for a long time. And um, friendships that are not measured by their quantity or by their length, but by their quality. And I don't know, honestly, who said that childhood friendships are the best ones, but I'm sure they are not college alumni. And for everyone's interest, I will stop at friendships for the, in this speech. Aujourd'hui, nous arrivons au bout d'un chemin que nous avons entamé ensemble, mais demain, c'est une nouvelle aventure que nous allons aborder chacun de son côté. Ça va bientôt faire dix mois qu'on se connaît, mais aujourd'hui, on se découvre, à la fois les autres, mais aussi et peut-être surtout soi-même. Nous avons eu des moments de joie, des moments d'angoisse, des moments de fête et des moments de cantine, parfois même post-cantine, et nous les avons tous partagés. Et c'est finalement ça l'esprit du collège, n'est-ce pas Celui dont on nous a parlé euh, dès le premier jour, même avant d'arriver ici, l'esprit du collège, euh, c'est être ensemble, pour le meilleur, tout comme le pire. Et ça, ça n'arrive que très rarement dans une vie. Aujourd'hui, nous sommes comblés de cet esprit, et euh, on ne s'est jamais senti aussi proche, aussi uni, aussi fraternel qu'à l'heure où je vous parle. Chers camarades, ne vous inquiétez pas, ce n'est pas un adieu, mais juste un au revoir. And for us, our dears, wherever you are, Brussels is very small, and the world is even smaller. No matter where you are in New York, Paris, Beirut or Beijing, Caracas or Nairobi, we will meet again, because the world is not big enough. And I can't wait to see the great things that you will accomplish on your own. So as someone once said, and I'm trying to stick to the team line here, be the chess player, not the chess piece. No matter how far you will go or high up you will go, you will know where to turn to find comfort and support whenever you need it. Finally, before I end, I would like to uh, give a special thanks to my colleague Gary, who was an amazing team player and even a more amazing rep throughout the year. So thank you very much. Uh, as you say in uh, Scots Gaelic, and I hope uh, it makes sense. I hope you speak actually Scottish because Google Translate doesn't. So <laughs> I hope you understand. So thank you, Swaristas, and of course, thank you, IRDers. Raquel, over to you. All right, thank you, Ali, thank you, Manon. Um, while for most of you sitting um, here today, this ceremony marks the final move of a year-long chess game, for some of us, the adventure is not yet over. As some of you may know, seven of us will soon be embarking across the Atlantic to complete the second half of our master's program, a program which will be celebrating its fifth year anniversary next year. And I could not think of a better time to be studying transatlantic relations than now. 
with the electoral victory of Joe Biden in the United States, a new chapter of transatlant transatlanticism looms over the horizon. One in which multilateralism is once again put at the forefront of priorities. Similarly, a new chapter of our lives, all of our lives, is waiting for us right outside these doors. In chess, it is common for the final position of the pieces to attract most of the attention from spectators, as it reveals who wins and who loses. And while today, those watching from afar are eager to celebrate our accomplishments, only those of us sitting here right now know that this moment is the result of each and every move that came before it. Sometimes those moves were blatantly obvious, like skipping Repafroi on a rainy Friday night. Sometimes not so much, as those who struggled with their thesis topic will know, myself included. Sometimes we were forced to make a trade, such as going to the exotic Belgian coast instead of Geneva or Strasbourg. In the end, all of these trades, these sacrifices, left us feeling all sorts of ways, whether that be feeling ahead, feeling even, or even feeling behind. But once again, just like in chess, one can never know the result of a game until the very end. And I mean, I think it is safe to say that everyone here has won the game. Congratulations. And while the college and this game both end here, today is also the start of so many other things, whether that be continuing your studies, starting a new job, or anything in between. Whatever your next game may be, know that the first move is always the hardest, as the possibilities seem endless. But once you make that first move, each and every one after becomes easier than the next especially when you have a support system like the one here at the college, made up of incredible professors, assistants, and most importantly, friends. So, when the time comes for you to approach the chessboard again, with all the pieces back in their original positions, I hope you can draw from the experiences of the last nine months to help guide you every step of the way. Dear Suaristas, thank you, and checkmate. Dien Dobre, from Natalin to Bruges. It is an honor for me to speak on behalf of the Natalin community. First, I would like to share our gratitude to Madame Rector Mogherini, Madame Vice Rector Osnias Katametska, and the whole team that comprise the College of Europe. Thanks to your vision and your unending support, we as students have been able to enjoy a dynamic and unforgettable year, regardless of the pandemic and all the challenge it posed. In our opening ceremony 10 months ago, we encouraged our new colleagues to work together and support one another. In the face of opportunities all anew, now those colleagues became our new family. In a time of uncertainty, the college provides a unique opportunity for us to come together as students and global citizens. As a community, we took it upon ourselves to create societies, events, activities that challenge perceptions and reflect our values from fundraising to expert panels on migration and diversity, to discussions and celebrations of national languages, histories and cultures. We have voiced our opposition to injustice and spoken up for the protection of European values in an international context. This was a year to showcase our commitment to diversity and unity. We overcame obstacles and made the best of our time here at the college. This bond is one that will hold us together for years to come. Thank you, professors. Thank you, colleagues, for your inspirations. All your best in your new tomorrow. Thank you, class of 2021.